Hello and welcome to another episode of the All Command series. Today I'm going to be talking about the slash particle command. Jump right into it. So you start out with your slash particle and you choose your particle type. I'm going to do flame because it's really easy to see and show off. Uh, then you do where you want the particle to be. So tildes in Minecraft, they do where you're standing. Uh, so wherever I, as the player, am standing, uh, I believe it starts from my feet is where it will be. And then the second part is the volume of the particles from where I'm starting. So this is kind of, this is the confusing part, or it has been to me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to F5 here. Uh, if I just made it really small, I just ignore the other things that I'm doing right now. Uh, okay, just look at where this these green numbers are. That's where it's at. So you can see it kind of just blew up there. Let me slow it down. Uh, that should be good. And then if I was to make it go in the X direction, so we do X, you can see it goes that that way. I mean, this is gonna ma this is going to vary depending on where you're running the command. If I do, what's this about? If I do it like this, it's gonna go up and down. If I do it like this, it's gonna go in front of me. Pretty self-explanatory. If you want to do something like a player trail, you'd make it small. You would slow it down a ton like I was doing earlier. And then you would put it on a repeating command block. Do it like that. And... I did not remember all of that command. And then we do a really slow speed, lots of particles, force, and there we go. All right, the last parts of it, which I've kind of been showing, are the particle speed, as well as the number of particles. So we go ahead and do that, and then right past the green numbers is the particle speed. If you make it slow, it's going to do a really small effect. I gotta do a count as well. Do a bunch so you can see it, and you can see it's really slow. If I speed it up, it's going to explode a bit more. If I make it one, it's gonna explode like crazy. If I make it like a hundred, I think it just vanished. It just went warp speed. You can see 10, it tends absurdly fast. So you can do that with that what you will. And like I just showed you, the count is that last number. And remember, it's gonna lag if you do more. So that's like a thousand, that's 10,000, that's a hundred thousand. Let's see if I can, one more zero. All right, that, that caused it to freeze a little bit. And if you ran that on a clock, you could really easily crash your game or server. Uh, the last argument, which you do not have to enter, it will assume normal, um, is force and normal. So if you do force, you'll be able to see the particles from a super far distance. And if you do normal, you'll be able to see it from whatever the default is. I have an example behind me. That pillar, is the force. You can kind of see the vague remnants of this particle pillar uh, ridiculously far away. And on the left is the normal one. You'll see as I fly up, it starts to appear. And as I fly up, this pillar is, uh, is coming up with me. And this one goes all the way to the sky. And then if you look at this, they're the same command, save for that one argument. So you can use that, probably use force, um, but you could use normal to be a little more lag friendly, uh, and that's totally your call. That's really all there is for this episode of the All Commands series. And uh, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And be sure to come back when you have other command questions.